I'm using RTX 4070 Ti Super 4K resolution maxed out settings in Elden Ring Night Rain. And as you can see, FPS is nice. 60, we are maxed out because this game is totally locked on 60 FPS. And of course, if you have high refresh rate screen, like in my case, 165Hz OLED, or your GPU is just way too powerful, let's say you're using RTX 5090, there is very good and very cheap way to increase your FPS. Just make sure your GPU is not at 99% constantly, like in my case, you see 83%, 77, so we are in a good place. We are going to use lossless scaling and in UK it costs only 589, which is very cheap for what it can do. For the best results, make sure you set flow scale to 50, multiplier to 2 and also make sure your capture API is WGC, then you're ready to go. Why WGC? I think this is the most stable one, it always works for me. Why flow scale not 100? Because it will add latency, but you won't see a difference. Visuals will stay exactly the same. My game right now is minimized. You press scale, maximize the game, and you're ready to go. And as you can see, right in the very corner, we have 60 slash 120. Our FPS is right now 120. 60 goes to 120. And also I have MSI Afterburner just to show you real FPS and small 120 dots like a frame gen FPS. First of all, as you can see, our GPU usage went to 85%, 84, it was somewhere around 75, now 85, so 10 more percentage. I think I start noticing 90%, 92, okay, so double, this is our limit on this card at 4K maxed out, of course. I cannot see any visual artifacts almost at all, maybe slightly, let's just try to find one, I think the compass on the top should just, oh, look on the ears of my character can see that they're just going a little bit distorted. As you can see, it is not perfect. It goes a little bit funky, like sword, ears, especially when you are next to the very bright area. But when game in the full speed not slowed down, it feels all right. I can give it a pass, to be honest. And I can feel slight latency. It's like you're playing on GeForce Now with very good connection. So it is still possible. I can play totally like this. And I also calculated penalty what your GPU is getting. It is somewhere from 15 to 25%. If you have 100 FPS before lossless scaling is on, with lossless scaling you will get somewhere around 85 to 75 FPS. When you have 60 FPS with lossless scaling you will get 45 to 55. We are right now at 2x frame gen and the higher you will go the more GPU power you will sacrifice. And right now let's try to spot any artifacts during the gameplay. I will slow down footage to 30 FPS because I'm recording 4K 60 so you could see every single detail. And so far I'm very impressed. Everything is very very stable. The sword, the enemy, it is very very nice, yes. Even when I slow down twice I cannot see any artifacts at all. In my opinion this shows that this is very good results. On YouTube, by the way, you can slow it down even more to see maybe there are some artifacts, but right now I don't see them at all. And there you have it. This is how you use lossless scaling in Elden Ring Night Rain. So what do you think about this app? Is this a pure magic? Because everybody just fumbled how does it work? Even Digital Foundry, they were very surprised by this app. In their case, they had lots of artifacts. In my case, I don't see any at all, even when I slowed down the footage. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, it is very stable. They did a, such a good job. I'm going to play this game only like this.